What's up guys, this is Proficient PC. I'm the guy who teaches you how to do neat, fun, useful things with your PC computer. Today, we're going to learn how to make your PC browse the web in its fastest manner possible. Now, depending on what type of PC you have and what processor you have, this may not be a problem for you. But with those of you with some really slow PCs and you don't feel like dropping the money for a new one, this, P this tutorial is for you. So, first of all, you're going to need the right software. Now, you can argue with me, with me on this, but I think Google Chrome is going to be the fastest browser uh, if you're just looking for the sheer browsing speed. And Firefox, Safari, I know you guys are going to think those might be faster. Maybe they are, but with my experience, I've really enjoyed Chrome. So, uh, if you don't have Chrome, you can download it just by going to Google's home page. Here, install Google Chrome. It's really easy. It installs in like three minutes. Uh, it's a rather bare bones browser, but that's what makes it so fast. Okay, so that's the most important step. Once you have Chrome, your browsing speed should actually increase significantly, especially if you were using something like Internet Explorer or Safari. Um, now, there's another thing you can do to speed things up, and that's manage some of the plugins you have. So for Chrome, to get to the plugins, you have to type in the address bar uh, Chrome uh, Chrome colon two backslashes plugins, I think. Yes. And you'll have a list of the plugins currently running on your Chrome browser. Now, your chances are you're going to see a lot of plugins that you do not use on a daily basis, like... Google Earth, I've used that like once in my life, and you can disable that. If you're not going to use Google Earth, then disable the plugin. Uh, PDF Viewer, if you're not doing a lot of that, then disable it. Um, Silverlight, Shockwave, if you're not going to use that, disable it, you know? Now, uh, careful disabling some of the important ones like Java. Uh, I wouldn't suggest disabling that since so much, so much web content uh, has Java running with it. Uh, Flash, I'd keep but uh, just disable anything you don't think you're going to use. That should also speed up your web browsing speed. Now, uh, the last thing that I, c that I suggest that you do is a neat little trick. Uh, what you need to do is you need to start your task manager. Open that baby up. Go to applications. Now find the web browser that you're running and right click it. Uh, select go to process and it's going to highlight the process which the browser corresponds to so it's to Chrome executable and uh, I don't um, strongly suggest doing this if you can live with the browsing speed that you have like if the plugins and the browser and the Chrome browser helped you enough that browsing the web is fast enough for you and skip out on this step but if you need more speed uh, you can right click on the process and set its priority to high or real time or above normal and what it's going to do is it's going to put this process on the top of the list um, for your computer to complete tasks for so basically it's just going to be way faster um, careful um, with this setting priority with other uh, processes going on like if it's a system process like if you see something like, what is this, synaptics, executable, whatever, you don't know what that is, you don't know what it's doing, but chances are, if you mess with it, you're going to have some problems. So stay away from those. Um, and if you're going to set a process priority, make sure you through, do it through the applications tab like I showed you. Otherwise, you might mess with the wrong process. Okay, so those are the three tips to making your computer browse the internet faster i hope you enjoyed it please comment rate and subscribe um check out my site for a download of chrome and i'll see you guys later bye